Laga, 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 good stuff, laga, laga, good stuff, laga, laga. In our Celtic, wait a minute, it's Sunday morning, transfer business is going berserk. Our Celtic about to bring back the biggest bromance that has ever been at Celtic Football Club. There's been speculation all week that Celtic are running down the clock with the transfer window to try and see if they can get a late deal for the one and only Kieran Tierney to see if Arsenal will take a last-minute bite at a reduced cost just to get Tierney off the wage bill. There has been speculation this morning that he could be returned also with his bromance partner, the one and only Paddy Roberts. You remember his time at Celtic, he was actually quite good at Celtic and he's probably had the best time of his career so far under Brendan Rodgers. And it's said that Paddy, Paddy Roberts is allegedly on the Celtic transfer radar as he considers a return for the winger. It's all speculation, though, because if you look at the paper that's actually talking about it, um, obviously he started out at Southampton and uh, are keen on to sign him. And it could just be the fact that the paper are trying to gain a bit of interest. Um, he's 26 years old. Would you take him back? Or is it time to get younger players in and make the team a bit better with assets that we can sell on the way that Celtic do it. So tell me in the comments what you think about Paddy Roberts potentially being a target for Celtic. And it's all about targets this morning. Celtic are also allegedly on the lookout for another striker, a Danish striker at that. And he's 21 year old and is by the way, by the way, he's scored some amount of goals. Um, he's obviously played with Matt O'Reilly and the Denmark under 21 team. He's 21 year old, fits everything that Celtic usually go for uh, with a player, an asset they can bring on, make better and sell. Uh, he has scored, he scored 10 goals in 37 appearances last season and he's also started this season quite well with two goals and two assists in four games. Um, they did extend his contract until 2027 but you know, if Celtic are wanting them, they'll go out and get them. It's as simple as that. We do need another striker in at Celtic. O is injured. We only have the one recognised striker, which is Kyogo. Yes, the one and only um, Dyson can play in that position, but it leaves us short. If anything happens to Kyogo or Dyson, it definitely leaves us short going into the Champions League and everything. We want to have... You know, we want to be having a strong squad. We're meant to be having a strong squad going into the Champions League. Would that, would that guy be a fantastic signing? Tell me in the comments. Uh, one player that looks as if he's on his way out the door at Celtic is James McCarthy. We all kind of knew that anyway because he hasn't really done anything. And it's a shame for him because, you know, if he'd got to Celtic when he was younger, he would have been absolutely fantastic for us. And I think we kind of, we got him at the tail end of his career where things just haven't worked out. There's been the odd injury um, and he's been told at Celtic that he won't be part of the senior squad moving forward. He joined the club in 2021, you know, and he's never really got, he's never, I mean, people could understand why he was given such a long deal. He has made in a total 27 appearances, a lot of them coming off the bench. And um, the, the majority of them coming off the bench. Brendan did speak about uh, earlier in the summer, the summer window, saying um, that he was going to have a chat with players and see what they thought they were going to do. And obviously, he's one that he said, he says, obviously, he was a Celtic supporter when he was younger and still is. He says, I saw a lot of him down in the Premier League. He was fantastic talent for both Wigan and Everton. But things just haven't kicked off for him here at Celtic. And the fact that he's not going to be getting first team action, is ha he is one of the ones that he has had a conversation with and uh, he's probably looking to move on. He says, I think there's been interest. I know his agent has been talking to the club to see if they could find a compromise. So it's all about what kind of payoff deal that they can get from Celtic. Um, and that's what it all comes down to. He is contracted until 2025. He's got two years left. Celtic are basically going to have to pay off his contract to get him to, to move out the door. Is someone going to come in and pay good money for him? Most likely not, I would say. If there was an offer going to come in for James McCarthy, it would have come in before now. It is, it is looking like he will leave the club. And, and it's a shame because he's probably going to leave the club just before the end of the window, um, which means he will be a free agent and then he'll be able to go and get a club as a free agent. Um, but it is a shame for him and his age and his, his career. You know, I thought he really could have been somebody that could have come in and done something. But, you know, he's never really achieved anything at Celtic 
due to injury. Now, the big one that you've all been talking about all week has been Wilf's winger, Daniel Podence. Uh, I think this is a more realistic one that I think that Celtic might go for uh, rather than Rodgers going on and trying to get Paddy Roberts. Uh, this one has had uh, this has about a meat on the bone for the last week. He has been omitted from the Wolves squad at this weekend. He was omitted from the Wolves squad, so it looks like the Wolves boss is uh, looks, he knows that he's probably going to move on. But will it be to Celtic? Will it be to Celtic? He has been omitted from the squad from Wolves. Will Celtic get their man this weekend or next week? They're still looking for a replacement for Jota, but one player that says, look, you've already got a replacement for Jota, and it's Yang. Yang has been saying that he's, he's absolutely buzzing, and he names a few teammates that said can bring him on, and that they encourage him even more. The fact that he thinks that he can be a Jota replacement is absolutely fantastic, and you want guys in the team that are absolutely adamant that they're good enough. You know, he is only 21-year-old as well, the South Korean winger, joined the club in the summer and up to now we've sort of seen little glimpse of him. I think today could be the day that he gets in the team and he gets a good run. Um, tell me what you think about that. Also, the fact that there are players at the club who probably think they should be getting a game in front of him. Um, he's a great player and he's got absolutely fantastic pace, so it'll be good to see him on the pitch. Uh, when, the supporters, when the supporters shout your name, he says... He says, I want that to happen. I says, I want it to give me goosebumps, just like what it has. James Forrest. He says, James Forrest has been a big influence on him so far at Celtic and given him lots of encouragement. So that's good to see that James is still doing his job at Celtic and encouraging the players. He said that James played with Key and Cha over the years. He says, when I look at James now, how the, fan, how the fans support James, he says, that is motivating me to become the next Jota. So hopefully he does do that. That is the game today. We are away to Kilmarnock in the Cup. Anybody's guess what the team is going to be today. So make sure that you join us after the game today. There will be a video going up after the game. We'll get some of the guys down at the pub. And then 6pm Celtic Park time tonight. There will be the live where we can talk about everything that was spoke about this morning. And you can get... Your hands on the Gustav, Gustav, Laga, 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 Gustav t-shirts. On that note, have a great day. Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party. 